All right, joining us now is Larry Klayman, founder of Freedom Watch and former federal prosecutor. Hello, Larry. Steve, how are you today? I am great. Thanks for joining us. First of all, what you heard from the president. Well, you know, it's interesting. This is a little fact that most people don't realize, that the great majority of Supreme Court justices over our history have not even been lawyers. And you're right, Steve. There is no obligation to confirm a justice of the Supreme Court by the U.S. Senate. You know, as many of the political candidates have said, particularly during an election year, let the next participant, let the next White House president make that decision. But the, the individuals that have been mentioned to be on the Supreme Court, uh, there's two of them in particular. One is an individual named Sri Srinivasan. I always mispronounce his name. He's an Indian American from India. He was actually born in India. And another one named Patricia Millett. I've been in front of them many times. They are highly politicized. With regard to the Indian American nominee, Mr. Srinivasan, he held a decision back with regard to Iran, the torture and killing of my clients brutally until after the president had negotiated a tentative agreement with Iran over the nuclear treaty and then downgraded, downplayed the findings of the lower court judge, Burl Howe, ironically also an Obama appointee, who found without equivocation that there was brutal torture. Judge Rivasan on the D.C. Circuit, it was an appeal, said there were mere allegations. He obviously did that to curry favor with the president of the United States. He's been high on the list to be appointed Supreme Court Justice. And then there's the other one, Patricia Millett, who has also been in front of many times, Steve, also very political. She recently issued a decision with regard to the Ground Zero Mosque. As you might remember, the imam of that mosque, Ralph, had threatened my client and I. Uh, my client's a very valiant first responder who's dying from the fumes. He saved people during 9-11. We had sued the Ground Zero Mosque not to be built because it's a nuisance. In other words, it creates a security risk in that area. And we were termed by the imam enemies of Islam and neo-Nazis. That's like putting a fatwa on our head to kill us. And this judge found a way to not allow the case to proceed. And of course, we know that Obama's policies are very pro-Muslim. Uh, these two justice, judges have been on the short list to go to the Supreme Court. They're very political, ultra-leftist. In the case of Millett, she was actually blocked the first time she came up for confirmation by the Republican Senate. And it was only Harry Reid uh, who put in a provision uh, which was used to get her confirmed. So this so, is so you're saying they're brand. very, the two choices that you're talking about, very, very political. And he said there, no, I'm not going to uh, 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 nominate a moderate. Uh, so, so going forward, one other name on that list that people are talking about, Loretta Lynch. And by the way, people can read about your, the, these two judges that you wrote about at FreedomWatchUSA.org. But quickly, Loretta Lynch. Well, Loretta Lynch. Loretta Lynch is the Attorney General of the United States. Uh, she's obviously taken actions on behalf of President Obama which are very racially divisive. She's investigating virtually every major police department in this country, putting them under the watch of the U.S. Justice Department on allegations that they discriminate against African Americans. She, like the other two, highly political. I think she'll probably be the nominee because what Obama's going to try to do is she's, he's going to try to help Hillary Clinton by putting a African American a female as a nominee, and then having the Republican Senate block it until the next election, they're going to play the race card and they're going to play the gender card. Yep. They're going to say that Republicans are discriminating against Absolutely. both blacks couldn't agree and women. More. Very clever and very sinister. All right. Let me ask you about another piece you wrote at WND.com, World Net Daily, and that is about the circumstances surrounding uh, Justice Scalia's death. And not only the death, but in the aftermath, things like no autopsy. Uh, b pronouncing him dead over the phone, as the as the uh, the person who made the pronouncement did. Um, talk about your concerns here, Steve. We don't know if there was anything untoward or not, but clearly it needs to be investigated. It's very mysterious, and that's what I said in the press release that he dies in his sleep with a pillow over his head. Now, I'm not saying that anyone's responsible for this, but you need to have an autopsy. Now, the family obviously has the right to make his decision, but Justice Scalia was such a patriot. He was such an American hero. He was so, you know, in terms of stature, he was up there equal to the president or Speaker of the House in many ways. Is that I believe the family should allow for an autopsy. There may have been something that happened here that's untoward. I'm not saying this is the Pelican brief of John Grisham, 
where a Supreme Court justice was killed just for this, the reason to get rid of him, so he couldn't make a major decision. But this needs to be looked into. You know, in this country, we live in a fantasy land, Pollyanna world. We have never indicted or convicted a president. And just recently, the state of Israel uh, indicted and convicted uh, a former prime minister, Ehud Olmert. And, and he went to jail. Prison. Yeah, he's in right. jail. We, we just pretend bad things don't happen in this country. And they do. Well, and over yeah. my lifetime, there have been various assassinations, and we've never gotten the truth about any of them, whether they were John Kennedy or whether they were Martin Luther King or whether they were even Ron Brown in my China Gate case during the years that I was running Judicial Watch. They didn't do an autopsy of him At, either. You're absolutely right. The family didn't want one there either. And it should be mandatory if it's not for cabinet members and uh, for Supreme Court justices, uh, just as it would be, I'm sure, God forbid, for a president or a vice president. Let me just let you hear what Trump, Trump weighed in on the Michael Savage radio show, and uh, he had just found out about it, but here's what he said. It's a horrible topic, but they say they found a pillow on his face which is a pretty unusual place to find a pillow. Uh, I, I can't tell you what, uh, I can't give you an answer. You know, usually I like to give you an answer. Right, he couldn't, because he, he didn't know enough about it at the time. So what do you think will happen? You're calling for a Warren Commission-like investigation? Well, I don't know what we'd want the Warren Commission, because they covered up Kennedy's death. But we want an independent evaluation done by perhaps an appointed independent counsel, not by the president, but by Congress to look into this. Justice Scalia is too important a person in our history uh, to let this thing go. And I hope that his family, they used to live near me in Virginia, uh, will agree to this because the American people deserve uh, an explanation. Absolutely. Here. Larry, great to talk to you, sir.